I studied Russian at, in, in college. Um, and I think at the time, the best way to explain it was that I was attracted to something like the opposite of my own society. I mean, this was the, when I was at, when I was at university, it was the height of the kind of second Cold War. This was, uh, Reagan was president. Um, and there was a lot of conversation about the evil empire. And it was really just a curiosity to know what it was. Um, and that drive to know what it was got me to Leningrad on a summer program when I was in college. And funny enough, it was thanks to that program that I got my first introduction to Ukraine because we spent a couple of months in Leningrad studying Russian. And then we took a tr the, the group, uh, you know, you could then only visit the Soviet Union in groups. This is 1985, the Soviet Union still existed. Um, and we took a train from Leningrad to Budapest as our way kind of, and then I think to Vienna out of the USSR. And the train left Leningrad um, and then, uh, you know, we traveled, we spent the night on the train and then it stopped for I think five or six hours in Lviv. Um, and I had, I knew nothing about Lviv. I'd never been there, um, but I, we were allowed to get out of the train and I was allowed to, we were allowed to walk around for a few hours before getting back on and, and, and heading back uh, to Europe. Um, and if you, as you remember in those days, you know, it was very difficult to travel around the Soviet Union and, um, you know, it wasn't easy, wasn't easy to get to Lviv. And the city for me at that time was a kind of revelation. Um, I went to the cemetery where, is, is, you know, the famous cemetery where you can see so many different cultures, you know, gravestones in Polish and Ukrainian and Russian and, and German. Um, and you got a real sense of a, of, a, of a rich and complicated history, one that I'd never been taught in school. Um, and really that that moment stayed with me for a long time. And one of the things that really drew me back into the region, um, I, I, I then went to be a journalist based in Warsaw, but I visited Ukraine quite often in the 1990s. The, one of the books that, that you mentioned, um, Between East and West, is a travel book partly about Ukraine. Um, and it was the draw of complicated places that are, um, with, you know, where the history isn't fully known um, where there's something really to discover and learn. Um, and so really it is, it is not an exaggeration to say that the, the history of Ukraine, um, the story of places like Lviv, um, those were one of, that was one of the things that drew me into the subject. Um, how did it get to be the way it was? You know, what, you know, what was the communist system? How did it come to dominate the region? And, and then how did places like, you know, how did, how did Poland, how did Ukraine, how did other countries eventually fight back and reestablish, um, you know, a different alternative, you know, a different idea of the nation or a different sense of sovereignty? So it was the it was the it was the attraction to the other, and then really the fascination with um, places that weren't well known in the West and whose story needed to be told.